just had third round match for GS's tournament, and, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it is. I'm kind of mad about this match, if that tells you how it ends or whatever. Um, so this was a fairly long match. This, I, this is from the versus recorder, and I had to speed it up. Um, he leads with Tokus, I lead with Toxic Croak, which I did a bad play off right off the bat and go with an Ice Punch. And so it didn't kill it, which it shouldn't have killed it. Um, I did damage calcs later. It, there was no way, unless I got a crit, that I was going to do it. Unless he had no HP and no defense. So Air Slash does it. Scare it away. I go with my Hidden Power Rock, which he switches to Burloom. I think he knew that it was Hidden Power Rock, or... I don't know. I guess that's the only reason he would have switched to Breathing. But I have to switch out. I switch to Weezing. And... Um, we start the Sparfest. Um... He was getting frustrated because I, like, wake up every so often from sleep. I think I sleep on this one. But the next turn... No, I'll switch out and go to... To Frankie. And this waterfall hurts, like... A whole bunch more. Well, I did switch for Frankie's. This is my defensive wall. This is one that my friend suggested, uh, Perry, um, to use. But I thought at first the Scaredus might have been banded because it was hitting both of those a lot. But no, it turns out it was Dragon Dance. Um, I wake up here and get off a Pain Split, and then I know that a second one's not going to be able to finish me off. So, um. I go the Thunderbolt, or I know two wouldn't finish me off, so I go with Thunderbolt now, um, and I do a heck ton of damage with Weezing, um, which actually, Dragon Dance, now that I think of it, I could have KO'd him with Frankie right then and there, um, or set up his up, and he gives me about a little bit more than half health, I was thinking crit at first, but... Which you'll see in the later in the match that it didn't do much, and I did a shadow ball because he told me his beforehand because he already knew mine. Um, so he puts my wheezing to sleep, and this starts a big giant thing of where uh, him subbing me waking up at some point, and that he wouldn't be able to KO wheezing unless he went out with a straight with a seed bomb instead of trying to put him to sleep and set up a sub and then do something else because that gives me three turns of able to wake up so that gives Weezing ample amounts of time to wake up which actually I wake up here after he starts his focus punch and then I got the sub and I actually wanted Weezing to die at this point because I could have brought in Sceptile to revenge kill it but it didn't happen that way um, and this is just going to basically go on so I'm going to talk over this in different I'm um, just going to tell you now, uh, I lost, because cause here are my matches, basically. You can watch my other videos, other Pokemon videos, and you can prove this true. And you can watch uh, most of Xerxes' videos, and it's exactly the same way. Um, just call it to Xerxes, but she doesn't really care, probably. Um, either A, even hacks, because I never get any hacks in my way, like a whole bunch. You'll never see that. Um, even hacks, I win. Um, hacks, some against me, usually I still win. Um, or, like this match, insane amount of hacks against me, and I lose. Like, there was no way I could come back from that. Um, so you wake up here, knock out the sub, he's going to... Yeah. Um, and if you think I'm being overly arrogant with that, check my videos, do all this stuff, it happens that way. UUs are the way to go, they do a lot better against the overused, uh, overused people. Like Burlum, it's very predictable. Weezing can throw out a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I plan ahead. I knew that he'd have... It. I wouldn't really need Flamethrower other than for Breloom, which I could just take out with Shadow Ball, if it really came to it. And if I came up against Weezing versus uh, 
Dust Noir, which is another one of his pokes. Wheezing would win. I'm trying not to talk that loud, because it's like 9.53, and people are trying to sleep, I guess. Um, he does a switch to Togekiss, which doesn't really matter at all. Um, but yeah, we did a very long match, because this is in its, its, like, the versus recorder, and it was 21 minutes long, so that was at least, like, an hour or so. I switched to Captain X, because Captain X is awesome, and I go with a Meteor Mash, and since my stats and are pretty much even, I have about, I have 315 in a special attack and 305 in attack. don't really remember what nature it is. It might be quiet, but it doesn't matter. I do a whole bunch of damage to the Trianatar. I knew I would do a whole bunch of damage to anything that came in. Um, I do a Grass Knock because I figured I could finish it off, and if Rampardos, which I thought would come in, I could finish, or do a Hefty Chunk to Rampardos, especially since I find out later that it's naughty. Um, but no, I figure Frankie would be a lot better put to sleep, because it's not really going to do anything at half health. I mean, it could, but it's not superly fast. Um, so I bring out Weezing, and... This is basically going to force him to seed bomb me once I get down long enough. Because he can't put me to sleep to try to do it. So he gets up his focus punch. I'm going to shadow ball away his sub. He's going to focus punch me down to, I think, 23. And then will uh, seed bomb. Which then lets me bring in a septile for a revenge. Well, a revenge if he stayed in. It wouldn't really matter if he didn't stand, because I would have basically outrun everything else. Um, or majorly put a dent in everything else, including Togekiss. I don't care. This is a Specs Modest uh, Sceptile that I was going to do a Leaf Storm, which I did Calx. That basically one and a half shot that breathed him. And it would have done like. I want to say 70 to 60 percent damage to this Togekiss, but he told told me later that it wasn't like overly specially bulky. He said it had some special defense points, but and some HP and some defense, which means he split it up three ways, which means it's not too overly bulky. Um, and my Satellite Berry, I had a Satellite Berry on this, which um, I figured it was banded because Frankie still sped it, but Frankie has a higher base speed it would be than the Rampardos, even if it was Scarfed, because of the Satellite Berry. So, it is Scarfed. We'll find out later. Um, gonna go for another Mash, because I did Calx, and if it was Banded or Scarfed at the time, I would have... I think I was doing 101 to 114 damage. And I get an Attack Boost, which is completely useless and in either way, because I did a calc on everything else, and I did a calc here. If it was scarfed, this should do 65 to 70 damage, and I was like, yes, 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 wait, it keeps going, and he gets a crit. Key point right there. Metagross would basically have swept the rest of his team if that didn't happen. Okay, and I was like, okay, basically done, but I can scare him away for this right now. Um, HP rock. Um, I get a lucky part. I'm putting that in sarcasm and air quotes because I get a crit here. I could have two shot it, or possibly one shot it, because it's a specs modest septile. Um, so, yeah, I'll two shot it because it's not gonna outrun me. Um, uh, Z.0079 comes in. Um, I do a shadow ball right here. It's a bit Shadow Ball, because, I, again, I knew what his team was, because he told me before. Um, so, yeah. And then, my stupid part, which isn't really overly stupid at all, for anything. Um, there's a Calm Mind on this one, because I've been thinking he would step in, keep it in. So now it's just Rapardos and that, versus uh, Clefable and Sceptile, which I should be able to win this. And I should very convincingly 
be able to win this. You'll see otherwise. I do a combo mine there, which if I would have shadow balled, it would have done a hefty chunk of damage since I find out later that that was naughty, which means its special defense has dropped. I calculated uh, Stone Edge completely forgetting about Head Smash, but Head Smash, I would have never lived that. Okay, Sceptile comes in. I go with my... the very overly good... well, not overly good, the general Dragon Pulse. Um, should... was it two shot or three shot? It was three shot. Three shot the Dusk North. No problem. Okay? So, Dragon Pulse again. Dragon Pulse would KO his Rampardos. No problem. He does Ice Punch. I figured I would live unless that was heavily invested in that. I do, but I get a freeze. I get a freeze. So that ends the match. Overly hexed. So, GS, if we can do a rematch um, for the tourney spot, that would be okay. If you want to do a rematch, Kavolik, cool.